Hey, what's up, everybody? So they are back from grading the 2020 West Point Reverse Proof Jefferson Nichols. So we are going to take a look at these, and here they are right there in all their glory, or is it glory? We're going to soon find out what the grades are. Well, I already know what the grades are, but you are soon going to find out what those grades are. So for those of you who don't know, the 2020 Reverse Proof set from the San Francisco Mint went on sale April 17th and sold out pretty quickly. They were unavailable for about a month and finally they are back available. I sent mine out for grading. They came in these awesome envelopes that are going to sell on eBay for like four bucks a piece. If you have any of these envelopes and do not want them, I believe they're still selling on eBay for like four bucks a piece. Crazy that somebody would actually spend four dollars on a on a uh, on just an envelope like that. But anyway, uh, it would probably cost just a cost of, of a stamp to throw those into an envelope and ship it out. But whatever. So we have the coins back, and we are going to look at these in a certain order let me just make sure they are in the order in which i want to display them because i want to show one last all right so we have them in the order in which we are going to look at them and uh, so here they are so the first one is a reverse proof 68 so not horrible, definitely not the best. Um, kind of disappointed with a 68, but it is what it is. It's always, you know, it's whoever was grading it, it's their opinion. I believe there's a couple people who it goes through. And uh, so very kind of disappointing with, with a 68. But um, anyway, so that is the first one. And then the second one we are going to look at is... Another 68, reverse proof 68. Now, the one good thing about sending these off for grading, at least the ones that came in the first batch, the first batch before they sold out, the first batch was 190,000 sets and, and uh, nickels, reverse proof nickels. The San Francisco Mint and the West Point Mint shut down for a couple of weeks. So that's why the sets and of course these nickels were unavailable for about a month before they became available again. So at least with these being graded, even if it's not the grade that I like, at least we know that these came from the first batch before they actually sold out of those 190,000. Anything after that could be in the second batch after the 190,000 sold out. Does that mean anything? Probably not. But so, so far we have two 68s. Two 68s. And I am saving the best one for last. So this is going to be one thing that you do not want to miss. So please stick for the whole video. Please smash that thumbs up button. And so we are going to look at the very next one is a reverse proof 69. So 69 is, is good. It's good. It's not a 70, but it's good. I am very happy with a 69. Um, now, my intention is not to sell these. I'm probably not going to sell any of these on eBay. If I were, a 69 is currently going for around $30 to $30 mark at least they were while these sets were were unavailable after they sold out of their allotment of the 190,000 they were going between 30 and 35 bucks for a proof 69 so that is the third coin is a proof 69 so really cool. Let me know what you think so far. Let me know what you think about those 68s. And we will look at the next one. The next one is another 
reverse proof 69. Now, I did pay a little extra for the label, the Jefferson label. I'm not a big fan of paying for the labels, but I did want the Jefferson label. Um, first W, reverse proof nickel. That is automatically put, up, put on there. The early release is something I think it was like $5 extra to have the early release added onto that. That is not something that they automatically put on there. So the label costs a little bit extra. The early release costs a little bit extra. So these grading companies do kind of stick it to you if you want the bells and whistles. Now, I guess, I think they also have like special slabs. They have like anti, you know, scratch proof slabs and all that kind of nonsense which I didn't want to pay any extra for. I'm really not a fan of grading modern coins. There's a limited selection of coins that I will send in. Now I don't have to pay for any of the shipping fees because I send these out through my local coin shop. So if you are a uh, someone who likes to get coins graded, have them put in slabs, the fancy labels and all that kind of stuff, and you have a local coin shop who you trust who will send these in for you when they send in their own coins and they pay for the shipping, which that is a plus because I don't pay for the shipping on any of these coins that I send in. And uh, so that's a good thing that I did not have to pay for any shipping. And once again, these are all NGC and they are getting... All of my sweaty hands all over them. They're steaming up from my hot hands. And uh, so anyway, we are going to look at the very best of the bunch. And when I say the best of the bunch, I'm kind of being a little uh, sarcastic when I say that. Because this here, if you do not send it, if, if you're someone who does not send coins in to get graded... And you're thinking about sending coins in to get graded, modern coins, modern bullion coins, or any kind of modern coin that you want to send in to get graded. And you just think you're going to get lucky and get all these 70s. Um, so far, you see that I have not received one single 70. Now, these are all modern coins. They come directly from the mint. And you think that most of them are going to be in at least close to perfect condition because they're coming straight from the mint. Well, keep in mind, this is the United States Mint, and when they send you these nickels, they don't, if you've seen these nickels, they come in these little cheap little bags, and they slide all around these bags. Well, this is probably one reason why you might want to double think sending in coins if you... If you're on the fence, if you're on the fence, this could be a reason why you may not want to send them in it is because of this one right here. This one here came back uh, reverse proof 65. Now, a 65 is something that you would expect to get on something that might have light circulation, light circulation. But you think it might be a mid-state. This is something that you would expect to get something that came out of someone's pocket change. But this came directly from the mint. And this is just, you know, a good example of the lack of quality control. I'm not exactly seeing exactly. I mean, there is a bunch of, you can see there's a bunch of little minor scratches on this, on the coin. You can see that there. And, um, and there is, I did take two of them out of the original mint plastic and put them into, uh, some of those Mylar two by twos. And I did it on video. You might've seen the video. So I don't know. This could have been one of them. I don't know, but a 65 now a 65 could, could actually be the one that might actually go for a little bit more money depending on this may be the only one this may be a one of one and i got the only 
reverse proof 65 because I'm sure there's probably not going to be many 65s. Most of them are going to probably be 69s, 68s, you know, some, of course, quite a few is going to probably be 70s. I'm willing, I have not checked the NGC census report. I'm going to check that soon. I'm willing to bet that there's not many 65s that got graded a, a, a 65. So who knows? But like I said, I'm not going to be selling these anyway. I'm not really interested in putting them on eBay or in the secondary market. But this is one prime example on why you may not want to send your coins for grading. If, you, if you've never done it and you're kind of on the fence, this is what you could get a uh, a very poor grade and this is a poor grade if this was a coin from the 1800s or the early 1900s or a morgan silver dollar or a peace dollar and you got a 65 you'd probably be jumping for joy but when you get a modern coin that has no circulation came directly from the mint you are definitely not expecting to get a 65 at all so anyway Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the 65. So, just to recap, I got two 69s, two 68s, and one 65. Definitely, if I chose, if I chose to uh, throw these up on eBay, chances are I just lost quite a bit of money of from the grading fees that it cost me to get these graded. So let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.